the three little pigs, and the somewhat fat wolf. Once there were three little pigs. They lived on a farm, as most pigs do, and were very happy, as most pigs are. Then one day, the farmer told them that he and his wife were moving to Florida. He paid the pigs for their good work and sent them on their way. Let's buy potato chips, said the first little pig. Let's buy sooty pop, sooty pop, said the second pig. Let's buy building supplies, said the third pig, who was altogether unlike pig. Oh, look at the potato chips. They just arrived. Reluctantly, the other pigs agreed. The first pig decided to build a house, a straw house. Since straw is cheap, he had plenty of money left over for potato chips. The second pig decided to build a stick house. Sticks are practically free, so he had lots of money left over for soda pop. Look at all that soda pop. The third pig decided to build a brick house. She spent all of her money on bricks and mortar, but the man at the hardware store gave her a sandwich. So she got all of the stuff she needs to build her house, plus a sandwich. So she got some food in that. Soon the straw house was finished. It was dusty and musty, but the first pig did not mind. He rocked in his hammock and ate his potato chips. This is 1,001 ways or tasty desserts. Soon after that, the stick house was done. It was small and there was no room for a bathtub, but the second pig did not mind. She took a, or he took a bath and drank soda pop. Look at him in the little pond outside. Brick by brick, the third pig worked on her house. Sometimes the other pigs would come by to watch. They had a wonderful time. So they just sat there while the third little pig built her house. We know how the story goes, huh? Finally, the brick house was finished. It was big, beautiful, and strong. The third pig was very happy. She filled a basket with her vegetables from her garden. Ooh, she even made a garden. Mm, very smart pig. The next day, a wolf came to town. He was very hungry and somewhat bad. He went to a donut shop, but it was closed. He went to a hot dog stand, but it was locked. Finally, he went to a pizza parlor, but he wasn't allowed in. He left in a very bad mood. Mm. He has no food, boys and girls. What do you think he's going to do? Soon, he came to a straw house. It smelled like pig. I like pig, he said, not in a friendly way. He banged on the door. Who is it? Called the first little pig. The wolf. Open up or I'll blow your house down. I think the door's stuck, said the pig. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Good job. I can't believe that worked, he said. He'd never blown down a house before. Quickly, the first pig got on his scooter and sped away. Ooh, look at him getting away. The wolf moved on, hungry but confident. He came to another house. This one was built of sticks. Same piggy smell, he said. He knocked on the door. Who is it? Called the second pig. Wolf, open up or I'll blow your house down. Trust me, he added. I've done it before. Door's jam, said the second pig. So the wolf took an enormous breath and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. I am amazed that works, he said. Meanwhile, pig number two got on his bike and rode away. The wolf was still hungry. Very, very hungry. Ooh, where do you think he's going next? Right, their little pig pal. The hungry wolf came to a beautiful brick house. He noticed a familiar scooter and bicycle and the house reeked of pig. The somewhat bad wolf rang on the door. Who is it? called the pig. The wolf, open up 
I will blow this house down. Oh no, said the pigs, not now. We are watching our favorite show. The starving wolf took a humongous breath and he huffed and he puffed and he huffed, huffed and puffed and he puffed and huffed, huffed and he huffed and he huffed and he puffed, huffed. You think he's gonna knock the house down? I don't think so either. After the huffing and puffing stopped, the third pig said, do you think he is still out there? The three little pigs looked through the window and they saw the wolf collapsed on the lawn. Look at the poor guy, said the first little pig. He's exhausted. Maybe he needs some potato chips, the second pig added, and some soda pop. You think they're going to give it to him? The three pigs revered the wolf, revived the wolf with some smelly salt and then invited him in. The somewhat bad wolf was embarrassed. I am so hungry. I could not think straight. Have a potato chip, said the first pig. Have a soda pop, said the second pig. Never mind that stuff, said the third pig. Dinner is almost ready. Ooh, I wonder if she's making something yummy from her garden. Since their house, since their houses were wrecked, the first two pigs moved into with the third pig. My house, my rule, she said. She made them clean their rooms before they went out to play. She kind of sounds like mom, huh? The wolf stayed too, but there was no more huffing and no more puffing, and he was hardly ever bad again. So do you like that story, boys and girls, about the three little pigs and the somewhat bad wolf? It had a different ending than the regular story, right? I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later.